Hello, I'm Jeremy Vine, and this is Panorama. Stem cells, the potential is unlimited, but proven treatments are still years away. That's not stopping British families raising thousands to visit foreign clinics. Well, are you talking like almost like a miracle? I mean, how, how do you? It's the next thing to a miracle. Most mainstream doctors and scientists say it's a waste of money and could be dangerous. Let's just get started. He can go get the money later. That's horrific, actually. What are we looking at here? Well, I think we're looking at a used car salesman. Not something those who make money out of stem cell tourists want to hear. Hello, Hi, Dr. Rudder. No, 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 young man. How far would you go if you were told there was a chance, however remote, of curing your or your child's incurable condition? Families have been told that stem cells offer miraculous possibilities for treating everything from MS to blindness, and they are just a plane ride away. But the cost is enormous, and the experts here say they just don't work. We followed one hopeful family to China and sent an undercover reporter to the Caribbean. And this is what happened to them. Dakota Clark is a three-year-old from Belfast who was born almost blind. Where are you going? Said China. Probably to China. When they took us into the room, there was the doctor, two nurses, and a wee student nurse that had dealt with, as you know, for the four weeks and sat us down, and he was at one side of the room and I was at the other. And you just, all I heard was him saying, your daughter's blind. And after that, I remember nothing. Darren and Wilma Clark were told that their daughter had septo-optic dysplasia. Part of her brain and her optic nerve didn't fully develop. You know, they're, they're trying to explain to you that this is a rare condition. It affects one in 50,000 in the UK. We would advise you not to check the internet because it can scare people and OK, you come straight home when you're on the internet. In fact, the internet threw up a possible solution, stem cells. Their cell factories, able to make many copies of themselves, or turn themselves into almost any cell in the body, such as a heart, liver or nerve cell. They promise a lot, possible cures for a range of illnesses. But significantly, the technology mostly hasn't yet been proven to work or to be safe. For the first year, we have scarred the internet for anything stem cell related. So it's been used on kids being treated, news on adults being treated, who's doing it, what's the side effects, just everything to do with stem cells, we researched fully. Dakota's disorder means fewer signals pass between her eye and brain than normal. The Clarks hope that stem cells will help repair or stimulate new growth of this nerve, allowing more signals to pass through which will improve her sight. The family decided to go with a stem cell clinic called Baker Biotech in China. The sticking point though was the cost, 20,000 pounds plus travel extras, money they would have to raise themselves. Tonight we're in Granger's Valley Player for a fundraising school reunion. We were happy to even raise 100 pounds and so far I think we're about four, nearly 400 pounds. Absolutely fantastic. Another sign then for the one, Liverpool. This is a sign, first team ball, signed by the first team of 2007, 2008, the European Cup winners. This was sent over personally by Sir Alex. At the minute, there's £500 on it. By February, the clocks had reached their target and were bound for China. Their destination was a Baker clinic in Qingdao on the northeast coast. Over the space of the next month, Dakota will be receiving six injections of stem cells. What happened next will be the subject of fierce debate. Not everyone is quite as open-minded about these foreign stem cell clinics as the Clarks. Linda Oatley was diagnosed with multiple sclerosis 10 years ago. And then one day I tripped. I just caught my toe, my right toe. And I, I looked around and there was nothing there for me to trip on. And I knew, I just knew. This is MS. Typically, MS patients will slowly lose muscle control, 
There are drugs to slow this down, but the illness has no known cure. Which is why those with MS can be tempted by stem cell clinics in countries less well regulated than the UK. I know people that are very vulnerable and have been duped by the promise of a cure. These are people with MS who... People with MS that are, that are much worse off than, than I am, whose only hope is a cure and quickly. Panorama asked Linda to help investigate the claims of one stem cell clinic called Medra. So I've just, I've just typed in in Google here, um, stem cell treatment, multiple sclerosis. And uh, third on the list here is the Medra.com, who are the Californian company. And what does it say, though? It says... It says, treating MS and other devastating diseases, taking patients now. The list of diseases that fetal stem cells have an impact on is enormous. It includes things like Parkinson's, multiple sclerosis. Miraculously, Clayton showed much improvement after the first stem cell treatment. Medra is run by Dr. William Rader, and according to its website, has offices in Georgia, Germany, and California. Video testimonials from former patients feature too. We will be forever grateful for the gift Dr. Rader has given our family. I love you, Dr. Rader. Good morning, it's Kelly Martin from Medra. <laughs> Good afternoon. Medra were nothing if not efficient, and within weeks, Linda was flying to the Dominican Republic to see for herself. The morning after her arrival, she contacted Dr. Rader's office to arrange an appointment. Apparently the way it works is that there are two days in the month when um, Dr. Rader comes down to this, this clinic in uh, the Dominican Republic, and she sets up all of the appointments. So. We've had a request to be ready at 12.15 on Friday to be taken to the clinic. The next day, Linda would be passing herself off as a paying customer and be expected to hand over £20,000. She won't, and instead, she'll be wearing a hidden camera. <laughs> 